Good morning, everyone. It's Jeff from New York, and today we're in Las Vegas on the Strip, the southern end of the Strip, and we're going to check out the Luxor Hotel and Casino today. The Luxor is nestled in between Mandalay Bay and Excalibur, all MGM properties down here on the southern end of the Strip. As a matter of fact, MGM owns lots of properties on the southern end of the Strip, including Mandalay Bay, Luxor, Excalibur, uh, New York, New York, Park MGM, MGM Grand, all on the southern end, all owned by the same company. This morning, we're entering the Luxor through the uh, Strip entrance, the main entrance, but you can also access this hotel from the Excalibur and Mandalay Bay through a series of overhead walkways. This particular walkway is leading from the Excalibur heading south towards the Luxor, and there's also a similar walkway that's leading from the Luxor even further south to the Mandalay Bay, the southernmost uh, hotel and casino on the Las Vegas Strip. There's also a tram that connects all three of these MGM properties. It starts off at the Mandalay Bay, stops off at the uh, Luxor, and finishes off at the Excalibur and just makes round trips back and forth all day long. There's a video on the New York channel about that tram. Make sure you check it out. So what do you say we finally enter this Egyptian pyramid and see how beautiful it is on the inside? And now we're back at the main entrance of the Luxor, and I don't think there's a doubt in anyone's mind how beautiful this building is, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. I think there are four structures that really define the Las Vegas Strip skyline, and uh, the mo at the most northern end would be, of course, the Stratosphere, or the Strat, uh, which is one of the tallest structures west of the Mississippi. And then mid-strip, you have, of course, the High Roller Observation Wheel and the Eiffel Tower at the Paris Hotel and Casino. And down at the southern end would be the Luxor. And I think those four structures really define what the Las Vegas skyline looks like. And once you're inside the Luxor, you can't help notice all the marble and stone, especially the stone. It really gives off that ancient Egyptian pyramid vibe. You can't help notice everyone is just looking up as they're walking. It's kind of like New York City in the summer with all the tourists looking at the skyscrapers. Everyone is looking up at the beautiful pinnacle that this, this building reaches uh, at the center. And speaking of the pinnacle of this pyramid, many of you know that there's a beam of light that shines straight up into the sky at night. And that light, which is the Luxor sky beam, is over 42 billion candles strong. It's the strongest beam of light in the world, using curved mirrors to collect light from 39 xenon lamps and focus them into one intense narrow beam. Again, the strongest light in the world. This is the uh, front desk or the main reception area of the Luxor. And uh, another unique thing about this building is the elevators. As you can imagine, it can't use standard up and down elevators because, well, the building's shaped like a pyramid. So the elevators actually go up and down on an angle, but the cars themselves are on an angle, so you really don't notice anything different. It's a little too difficult for me to understand, and it really doesn't matter. The fact is, it works, or at least up until now. As far as entertainment here at the Luxor, Blue Man Group has a show here, as well as Carrot Top. He has a residency here, the comedian at the uh, Luxor. Uh, Luxor is also home to Fantasy, one of the longest-running burlesque shows. It's over 20 years old that's been running here at the Luxor. And the Titanic Artifact Exhibition is here as well. The casino itself is medium-sized for a uh, casino on the Las Vegas Strip, if you ask me. Um, it's very easy to get around this hotel and casino. I don't know if it's because of the symmetry of the building, that everything is pretty much straightforward. It's hard to get lost in here, as with other hotels and casinos where... If you make a wrong turn, it takes a while to figure out where you are. Not so much here at the Luxor. If you're looking to get your drink on here at the Luxor, there's a few choices you have, including Centra, which is the uh, casino bar. It's centrally located, but a great escape from all the casino action if you need to take a break. Then there's Flight. The uh, comfortable furniture and high energy make Flight Bar a great place to party. And then there's Aurora. That bar uh, features unique lighting effects across the ceiling based off the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights. Really cool lighting features here and a great place to relax and have a nice drink. This is Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl who shows up on all my Vegas videos. As most of you know, there are hidden mascots or some of you call them Easter eggs in my videos. Mitzi shows up in all the Vegas ones. Sometimes she's easy to spot, other times she's quite elusive, so keep your eyes open while watching the video. 
If you spot her, note the time in the comments below, and if you're the first one, you'll get a shout-out on an upcoming video. And speaking of Mitzi, a shout-out to Wise Malik, who once again found Mitzi the Rubber Ducky Showgirl in one of my New York videos. He found her in the Cosmo Pool video, which is the latest video right before this one. Congratulations, Wise Malik. There's no shortage of places to eat here at the Luxor as well. There's Diablo's Cantina, which is a Mexican restaurant. Public House, which is a popular East Coast hangout, but they opened up their first West Coast location right here at the Luxor. There's Pyramid Cafe, a great way to start your day. They have lots of things for breakfast as well as chicken and waffles. There's the Backstage Deli. Of course, there's a Starbucks. There's a food court here, and I just did a video on all the food courts, or most of the food courts here on the Las Vegas Strip, uh, including the one here at the Luxor, so check that video out. There's Blitz, which is a frozen yogurt place. Tender Steakhouse is here, as well as Rice and Company, a sushi place. And then, of course, there's the uh, Luxor Buffet, which hopefully will be opening soon. We just came up the escalators. I hope you held on tight. Uh, and up here on the mezzanine level is a lot of the restaurants and shows as well as the food court. One of the things I forgot to mention while we were downstairs is the Luxor is known for its $5 blackjack, something harder and harder to find here on the Las Vegas Strip, especially with the limited seating. Now, as far as shopping here at the Luxor, there's really not that much to choose from, but there's a good reason for that, and I'll get into that in a moment. But as far as stores here, actually in the hotel, there's 24-7 Lux Vegas, LX Logo Store, and the Luxor Pool Store. Now, the Luxor, as I said, is connected to the Mandalay Bay to the south, and in between the two are the shops at Mandalay Place, which is a very nice um, shopping mall. Lots of restaurants, lots of places to shop. So that's probably the reason why the Luxor itself doesn't have too much, because Right outside the door, um, connecting it to the Mandalay Bay, is the shops at Mandalay's Bay Place. So I think they have a video on this channel also regarding the uh, shops at Mandalay Place Mall, so you can check that out as well. Here's the Atrium Showroom. Uh, Carrot Top, like I said, has a residence here at the Luxor. His show is just getting ready to restart. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to be leaving Vegas right before his show restarts. And I always wanted to see his show. It goes way back to my college days. He's been around for a long time, apparently, because so have I. And I remember him back in college. Always made me laugh. I really want to check his show out. So going to miss him this trip, but perhaps next time I'll catch his show. And here we have Rice and Company, the Japanese uh, sushi place that I spoke to you about. They have more than sushi, but they're known for their sushi. And across the way is Lux Vegas, which is a convenience slash souvenir shop they have here at the Luxor. And we're right at the entrance of the Mandalay, the uh, shops at Mandalay Place, which uh, is the mall that I spoke about earlier with lots of shops and restaurants in it. Don't forget to check out my book, 50 Attractions and Many Tips When Visiting Las Vegas. It's down at the bottom in the description of this video that you're watching. It's only $4.99 instantly downloaded to your computer tons of pictures and fantastic tips if you plan on visiting sin city coming up here on the left is the luxor wedding chapel and on the right we have the food court how convenient so guys if you're thinking of proposing i suggest you come to the luxor Bring that beautiful woman of yours to have a nice romantic dinner at the food court here. And in between the McFlurry and the onion rings, propose to her. And I would even supersize that meal just to steer her in the right direction. I mean, how could she say no after that wonderful meal? And there you have it. Before she changes her mind, that wedding chapel is just steps away. And there you have it, the Luxor, that Pyramid MGM property snuggled between the Mandalay Bay and the Excalibur. And if you're interested in finding out more about the Mandalay Bay or the Excalibur, I suggest you check out those videos here on the New York channel. One, two, three. Thank you for watching the New York channel. Please subscribe. Hopefully by this point you guys are getting to know my closing acts and this is a little quiz. Was that Betty and Wilma, Cackney and Lacey, Laverne and Shirley, Lucy and Ethel, or Ginger and Marianne? Let us know in the comments below.
I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.